my fair citizens of Sodium City, today we are going to review the Magic Official Kaldeheim stream. Uh. So basically what they did is they just went over the new set, they kind of announced it, they revealed some new cards and stuff like that. Um, basically this is just me doing the first reaction, my first impressions and stuff like that. The in-depth card reviews as far as which cards I'm most excited about and stuff like that, those will be in later videos. This is just the main uh, stream, the initial like release announcement of everything that was going on and stuff. So enjoy. And if you want to see me do all this stuff live, make sure to follow me over at twitch.tv slash striderstone. I stream five days a week every day except Monday and Thursday. And as for yesterday's comment question of the day, we had a viewer royal ask, if you were going to make an MTG movie, what plane would it be on and who would the main character be? Here are your answers. If you want your comment featured in these videos, make sure that you answer the comment question of the day every single day, seven days a week in the comment section below. Are all the pre-release MTG stuff like this? Sometimes they have stuff. Probably not like this though. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I haven't watched it yet, right? Not like this. But it's probably because this Kaldeheim. Oh, I thought he was going to start going. I thought he was going to go fucking crazy with it. I've always wanted to do that. What's up, everybody? My name is Jimmy Wong. Today, we are here to talk about Kaldheim, the most metal magic set in the history of the game. And here to help us out, we have our very own metal band, Emrasturm. Wow! Wow. My heart's beating. <laughs> now, we're not just going to be shredding all day. Jimmy Wong is annoying enough, buddy. Because Kaldheim is the set He's the definitely a tiny bit metal. cringe. You know what else is super cringy? you not being subscribed to the channel. So just hit that sub button, bell notification, video seven days a week. Just do it, just do it. Agreed. We got lots of fun things in store but, today, including I might be throwing some axes. Hey, did we get the insurance form filled out for that? I think. No? Ah, whatever. Okay, I think you just get around. past it. You're not up. Wong. First, something I like to call the heavy metal interlude. It's like, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Spicy Tomato? He seems like a really nice guy, though. I just don't know. I, I feel like right, it's a fake character. I don't think it's actually him. Cynthia Shepard, art director at Wizards of the Coast. Hello, Cynthia. Welcome back. Hey, Jimmy. Thank you so much for having me back. Yeah, I just don't think it's him. I'm excited to talk to you about this set today. Yeah, I can't wait. So why don't we just start with the backstory? What can you tell us about Kaldheim? Well, when we were creating it, we started with like, you know... He seems just super, like? super and nice. And they don't do anything in half measures. They, they go all out, so... We decided it was a matter of like what are vikings or like die gloriously in battle try uh, so yes. instead of just one unique place we made lots of unique places in call time and instead of what are vikings like? types there's uh, lots of different epic so they added a rape mechanic i see everything was just go big or go home. <laughs> that's amazing well we go big about or go features, home ah uh, yes they so definitely did not go big well at I all i could just tell you or we could have some help from the band. Ooh, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Hey, Max, what do you think? Yeah. That's a resounding yes. Jimmy is Pog. I well, talked to him right, once in the Game Nights up, Discord when I was a patron. Super cool dude. Yeah, he seems like a really cool dude. Command Zone is great. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, wait. What do you say? Then first up, we have Kaya the Inexorable. Hell yeah. She is the hero of the story here in Kaldheim. Dude, Kaya's super lit. All around the multiverse. Where's the video? The video is here. There you go. You can watch it on Twitch on their channel as well. Yeah, if you just go to their um, their YouTube channel or their Twitch channel, it'll have it on there. You know. 
killing ghosts, hunting them as an assassin for hire, and Brother Freddy is pretty long in school too. Hunting a different kind of mysterious prey, and uh, I kind of wonder what that shadow is. That art's super, super tight. In the background. Yeah, she's gonna be obscene. Oh yeah, some hints. Okay, who else do we got? I'll do Next spoilers up, on a Miko different Eris. stream and video and stuff. Like that. I am super excited. Wait, who? Who the fuck is Nico Aris? Nico, they've planeswalked to Kaldheim from their home plane of Theros, where they were a champion athlete. And we see them here. Went from a champion athlete to a planeswalker. Enter's battlefield, create X shart tokens. Um, they are enchantments with two colorless. Sacrifice this enchantment, scry one, then draw a card. Cool. Yeah, yeah, dude, sharding. Hell yes. Dude, we can shart all day? Hell yeah. Perfect. Sharding never sounded so nice. I, I like it already. Nico Ares looks like a sharder, for sure. Yeah, enchantment tokens. No, this isn't a Viking. No, th this isn't a Viking. It's not. They said where the... Like, listen. I am super excited to introduce you to Nico. They've planeswalked to Kaldheim from their home plane of Theros, where they... From Theros. They were a champion. Anyway. So plus, um, block up, or up to one target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. Whenever that creature deals damage, this turn return, what? What? Can't be blocked this turn. Can you activate it on opponents? That would be sweet if this had if this had the the Jace mechanic to where you could do it on the opponent's turn and you could plus one and make the opponent's creatures unblockable and then when they did damage it would bounce their creature that would be awesome I think that would actually be really cool I could be wrong but I think it would be cool like you could activate it as long as on their like one of their main phases or something. Anyway, minus one. Card is unplayable. What are you talking about? You can make so many shark tokens. Deals two damage to target tapped creature for each card you've drawn this turn. Create a shark token. Champion yeah, athlete. this card is trash. You see them here on their card using some of their signature shard magic. Shark magic. Interesting properties. They can throw the shards with keen precision, and sometimes they can temporarily capture creatures in them. Ah, and fittingly, since they're from Theros, There's an the older Teferi is all allowed to activate cool. Planeswalker up, instant speed. Next we have an elf Planeswalker Sweet. from Kaldheim, Tyvar Kell. Tyvar Kell. This guy looks metal. I think that's the way he would want to be introduced all the time, you know? Like, I said earlier, Vikings don't do anything in half measures, right? And neither does Tyvar, especially when it comes to his gym membership. Yeah, no kidding. I'm a little envious, not gonna lie. And lastly, we have our returning villain, Tybalt. <laughs> yeah, he's back! He is, and he's actually back in multiple forms. Why does Tybalt look weird? It was, it was cool at first when they introduced it, and then they kept saying like, go big or go home, or yeah, we're going big with this one. Yeah, we're going all in. And I'm like, so far I have not seen anything signifying that it's all in on anything Viking related. I've seen zero Viking related things yet. Anyway, seven mana Rakdos. I mean, Tybalt's lit, so I don't care. Um. As Tybalt enters the battlefield, you get an emblem with, you may play cards exiled with Tybalt. Cosmic. Wait. 
an emblem with. You may play cards, exile with Tubal Imposter, and you may spend money as though it's made of any color. That's kind of cool. Plus two, exile the top card of each player's library. Exile target artifact or creature. Ooh. Minus eight, exile all cards from all graveyards. Add <laughs> triple red. <laughs> Fucking three red. I guess you only have to keep it alive for two turns. So in call time, you know, I wouldn't want to run into run afoul of Tybalt on a on a Yeah, day. ultimate's kind of shitty. In call time, impersonating a god named. Um, or you can flip it, or not flip it, but on this other side, it's a two-one for two, and enters battlefield. Each opponent reveals their hand for each opponent. Exile a creature card revealed this way until it leaves battlefield. X. Choose creature card exiled this way. Convert mana cost X. Becomes copy of that card. Okay, so like what? Turn two, exile Uro. Turn three, turn into Uro and swing. Got it. Very cool. And it's a return of the Molo double face. That's arm. tight. That's I right. like this. So there's multiple ways that you wouldn't want to run into him in a dark fjord. And I love the showcase art on this. It looks like it was chiseled by ancient Viking architects. It's true. We employed actual Vikings to carve the showcase frames for this set. I would expect no less. Okay. We've seen some awesome cards. Where can we find out more about You have to pay Olamaga? 10 if you want to like transform it into an Olamago. fiction again. So please keep an eye out for that soon. Like really really soon i definitely will well in that case i think Timo can, can spark break, double please. me yeah i think it's bumper sticker on his butt heavy metal interlude yeah Yeah, really get your blood flowing, huh? Dude, I'm awake now. I don't even need this anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard the words Viking World, I was sold. I was 100% in, but I think it might be important for everyone watching to get a little more insight about what's going on in the world and how it works. I so mean, what can you tell us? at the very least, they could use Viking metal. Right? The very least? <laughs> like, please. Kaldheim is Magic's Viking world. It's been requested by fans for a long like time. Just, so really I'm done. To double down and give them no, everything they're hoping Not criticizing for. So this is a anymore. Legends There's and nothing. Gods and Norse the fuck is Viking metal? Magic, all kinds of things. Wow, that is a solid list. Of they things. also don't know. So Kaldheim at its heart is centered around a cosmic world tree. And the plane is divided into... Ten realms? Realms, ten okay. of which we're actually going to see in this set. Finland so metal? Operate yeah. Kind of like mini multiverses, which are connected like fruit suspended from the branches of the tree. The world tree is the origin of all life in Kaldheim. And Tight. you can see the branches in the sky. There are no Vikings anymore? Wow, like so new Viking metal without Vikings? The realm you're in, you're going to see the world tree like Ah, that. you're right. Exactly. Can't have you death the metal because they're all dead. A different major creature type. Let's get started with Bredegard. So this is the realm that's dominated by humans, and among the humans there are five different. It's a frask. We have the Beskir, the Omen Seekers, <laughs> Skell, Tuskeri, and Kana. And these clans are perpetually in conflict with one another, but they're able to. Keep I like Kana. By I'm a Viking. I am also a Viking. By the Beskir. Here, let's take a look at. Missed getting live streams. What do you mean, Shark? Inga rune eyes. What do you think I didn't watch this earlier. Wow, That's why I'm watching really it now. Impressive and. Let's talk about that showcase art. That, that is, showcase that's, art that's is super sweet. Playing magic is just that right there. <laughs> I mean, I love seeing new cards. Do we have any more? I like how he says that. He's like, "Wow, look at art that makes me want to play magic again." <laughs> it was like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's look at Sigrid. Well, let's go back to that. That is epic. That's how I want to feel when I play magic. It's just that. Right there. <laughs> I love seeing uh, have any more? Uh, Absolutely. Let's look at Sigrid. Wow, wow, this is great. I'm loving seeing the Aurora Borealis equivalent above her as well. It's a feature of the cosmos here in Kaldheim. Anything related to the cosmos kind of Even the design team hates Borealis magic, effect. Kappa. Oh, and check her out in her showcase frame. 
Oh, and interesting. Protection from god creatures. That tells me a lot about call time here. It seems like it's going to come in handy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the gods are a What's up, Jummy? Thank you. And as much as call time's dead, you're welcome. Want to be recognized you're welcome. for their amazing feats. It would also really suck to be at their mercy. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at another rebel. You know what I'm super fucking salty about? The fact that so many people got these Kaldeheim packages and shirts and shit, and I didn't get fucking dick all. So this is just saying. Max Guard. This is the home of the. Just dwarves. saying. <laughs> and yes, before you ask, you may see a card, Jimmy. Okay. I know. This is Call the Forge Master. That guy's. Sweet and it looking. also comes in this great Weird. case frame. Yeah, that that's sweet. That is epic. That looks like it could be a freaking movie poster. I love it. All right, so next up we have Not Vault. This is the realm of the trolls. And so, some troll Wait, what? Secret is good. Protection from red would have been so much better. Yeah. Trolls fall asleep for a long time. Yeah, and some of the artwork is fantastic. They are terrifying when they wake up. So let's take a look at one of those. This is Old Growth Troll. This guy looks like he did not want to get woken up. <laughs> yeah, he's heavy. He woke up on the wrong side. <laughs> <of the floor. laughs> I love it. All right, so I mentioned there are ten realms. So let's let's go through some more. So Carfell has Draugr, which are like undead Viking zombies. Next up is Immersturm, which has demons. <laughs> Ermagerd, Immersturm. Their horns <laughs> kind of resemble those horns on the Viking hats. Nice detail. Sorry. Sorry. That's the only thing that comes to mind. Let's say you go And on the inverse, we have Starnheim, which is the home of the Valkyries, who will come down and battle. Hold on. Their horn step is Immersturm. Immersturm. That if you look closely, their horns kind of resemble those horns on pop culture Viking hats. Oh, yeah. Or Nicol Bolas? Resemble those horns on pop culture Viking hats. Oh yeah, nice detail. Istfel is the realm of the spirits, which is where you go when <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. Die gloriously in battle. And on the inverse, we have Starnheim, which is the home of the Valkyries, who will come down and swoop onto a battlefield and pick up anyone who's died gloriously performing an epic feat. So we're getting Zerland. White Walkers. I don't Zerland know. is the home of the giants. Well, yeah, we have one like we multicolor have two one. Kinds of giants here. There are both fire giants and frost giants. Now we see Lidyara, Sweet. which is the shapeshifter realm. Wait, Ooh. I'm sorry, shapeshifter? I did not expect that. Can we see some cards? An entire shapeshifter oh, yeah, realm is pretty sweet, though. Vandal. The shapeshifters on Kaldheim wear wooden, intricately carved masks to hide their true form. That's cool. I love this art here and the effect, of course. Pretty good for command. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of a shapeshifter? Like if you're shifting a shape to be more like something, wouldn't you want to look like it instead of have a mask? And finally we have Skemfar, which is the realm of the elves. Elves were once gods. More elves? Time, Fuck elves. But they were defeated a long time ago and split Fuck into all of the clans. elves. So in the set, we're going to see two different kinds of elves, the wood elves and the shadow elves. Oh, this is perfect. I'm just beginning to build- Where are the blood deck, elves? So maybe there's something in here good for my commander deck? Sure, I mean, how about a card that pumps your elf? What's up, B-Money? perfect. Oh Let's yeah, a card that pumps your elf. Just what we need, another fucking lord. <laughs> and check out the extended art on this one. <laughs> it's not a lord, luckily, but. Wow, Gain death so touch? Cool. I mean, we've seen- We'll go over spoilers some other time. This. Other. They do. Again, this is just the a little bonus stream thing because I wanted to watch this. Tree. And they can even Please, in this epic need, event called a we don't Star. need Blood Elves. Blood Braid was enough for one lifetime. Red Elves would be cool, right? <laughs> What's up, Otabi? What's going on, Sneak Chew? Which... What up, Marvin? Realms together. It causes earthquakes. There's just nothing out there that supports elves. Wow. 
Chaos, yeah. that sounds right up my alley. Welcome I mean, to Lord number 62 in the Elf Tribe. So Ten new realms, brand new races, you haven't outdone yourselves. There's so much here to love, and, and honestly, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Yeah, and thank you so much for walking us through all of these realms, as well as for everyone out there watching. Uh, it's always a pleasure, Cynthia. Anytime, Jimmy. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, before we dive any deeper, we did something really cool with... To be honest, so far, everything that I've seen, I like. Just in general. Right? Cards. And we've got our good friend Don Maddock here to tell us more about it. So check it out. Jimmy, I am so excited for this set. Event Marketing Manager, crossed off, Manager of Fun Times and Chaos. If you don't know... Like how Strayer paused on Jimmy's face saying he likes everything he's seen, Kappa. Except the metal perform I like the metal performances outside of the interludes. Unless they were like meant to be funny. Well, I'm a huge heavy metal fan and I love magic. And this is the best of both worlds. It's like nothing we've ever done before. And I've been banging my head again. See a bunch of people got these fucking shirts and I didn't get these shirt. Where the fuck is my shirt? I want this fucking shirt. The shirt is sick. Gets the wall for years to try and get something like this to happen. Omega to Rage. Off, we got to work with some of my favorite heavy metal bands. Fuck, I know, DZ got, got a shirt. About I'm fucking raging. Music, magic. We All I got, got a shirt. Cards on the way. Super cool. I think you guys are going to love it. It's time to check out some heavy metal magic. Yeah, those are the only two people I know that got a shirt. We are Angra. Smolder. Rhapsody of Fire. Oceans of Slumber. Mom and Marth. Torch. Or Mastodon. Wait, did I say Mastodon? We are Angra. Smolder. Rhapsody of Fire. Oceans of Slumber. Mom and Marth. Torch. Or Mastodon. So the new magic set, Kaldheim, is surely the most metal set they've ever released. Fear Factory. Let's go. And of course, they need a proper metal. Amazonian CB CGB got a shirt. Like the head budget for one real band. Metal band to help introduce it. Mastodon sweet. I like how they had 10 like bands no one's heard of in the Mastodon. Smashing somebody with some crazy weapon or something like that. There's definitely a connection between the fantasy and the heavy Rhapsody of Fire is... Of magic There's a huge collection of <laughs> My favorite card yeah, is a uh, uh, Mind Fist. Of yeah, Rhapsody of Fire has been around forever. This is the Mind Fist, and uh, I also like the, the picture. I just didn't so expect like Mastodon. Like that just... Michael Weaven has also done artwork for Magic the Gathering. Yeah, the Nalefni Dragon had his art on it, and was, I believe, one of the first promo cards. My ex-girlfriend's cousin was the lead guitarist of Angra? Call Head is about why things meet metal. Epic tales and stories. So naturally, they asked us to preview a card. That's our world. We live there. So, uh, yeah, and also, I'm part Viking, as you can see by my chest and my sword, and a little bit of rosacea that I have on both cheeks. And the card True. is Showdown of the Skulls. The mobile DFCs are coming back in Kaldheim. It's Kaya the Inexorable. She's a ghost assassin. She's a planeswalker. She's black. It's totally <laughs> My dad reached it in the It's radical. uncle. Check out Palmer, God of sure, they could have gotten Gwar. Because Gwar is in Viking Metal, probably. I would say. She's a dwarf who's like sturdy. <laughs> you know? Thanks everyone for hanging out with us. Stay metal. Although I haven't right. listened to Gwar awesome. since the lead singer died. I'm so far. Pretty cool, right? When are you going to throw the axe? Right, the axe. Actually, I had another idea. Uh, I've right, God girls are this, fucking hot. I had it especially made. Boom, I'm a part of the band, baby. <laughs> nice, we're matching. Okay, so how about we practice that sick guitar solo? Even the guitar guy's like, holy okay. fuck, dude, you're cringy. My ride, my Mustang. 
don't look too much. It's oh, I thought it was going to be a violin. Yeah, yeah, you're jealous. It's cool. Oh, no. Air guitar? All right. No. Are you guys ready to rock? Let's do this thing. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no worries. I was just uh, jamming out with the band, you know, my best buds. That's cool and all, but I, I think everyone's here to hear about the new set and uh, not hear you play some air guitar. Wow, you know what? I think you're right. Okay, hey, uh, take five, everybody. I'll be right back. Your star member. Me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike, I can't wait to hear more about the mechanics of the <sighs> set. So I think we should start with returning. Holy fuck. All right, I might. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Always found him kind of likable in the Commander episodes. Yeah. Because usually he loses. It's pretty chill. Do you have multicolored sagas? Amaze balls. Yeah, this is rough. Your cam incident has never been so well placed. Oh, is that where like the TV is or whatever? Discount Jared from Subway? I don't know. What would a discount child molester be? <laughs> I don't know if that's something you want to call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh. What can you tell us? First up, we're bringing back modal DFCs. Yeah. I do like yeah, the modal right. DFCs. Really I do like that. I'm I am super excited about and that. Just bring out the best like this a lot. World. So let's take a look at a few of the modal DFCs in the set. Ooh, we have the two lands again. Yeah, the pathway lands are back. They're so easy because if you need green mana, you play the green side. If you need blue mana, you play the blue side. It's exactly what you want when you Pathway play. suck. And not just that, but I can see that we have amazing borderless frames as well for all of us commander officials. Where the fuck are our triumphs? Nice looking cards. So thank you for yeah, that. I <laughs> yeah, I totally love these borderless lands. They, they just kind of child the molester. Maybe the they're a teenager. So Maybe they molested Our themselves. Love them in Zendikar Rising. We knew What's going we on, Tardis? What up, Jess? Uh, additional four, so we have all ten pathway lands now. Yeah, that's great. And they all look amazing. Okay, so are there any other mobile DFCs that you can tell us about? You can Here, put out more triumphs to the set with cycling. This is a mobile uh, double-based card. On the front side, it's Allrund, God of the Cosmos. Got basic Snowlands. Blue, blue, Why you gotta spoil shit? Legendary Stop spoiling shit. God. Allrund gets plus one, plus one. That guy looks metal as fuck. All right, finally, we got a Viking. For each card in your hand and each foretold card you own in exile. At the beginning finally. of your end step, choose a card type, then reveal the What the fuck is foretold? Library, all cards of the chosen type into your hand and the what rest is this? the bottom of your library in any order. On the other side, it's Hawkeye. Calm down? No, Whisper I won't calm down. One in the blue for a 2-3 legendary creature. Bird. I'm still pissed Why? I didn't get my t-shirt. Whenever Hawkeye Whispering Raven deals combat damage to a player, <laughs> return it to its owner's hand, then scry two. All modal DFCs in Kaldheim are legendary gods on the front, a permanent on the back. Nice. You know, one of the- About awesome the guy that's not a Viking. When it does he looks like a damage, fucking Viking though. back to your hand. So you can hit them with Hawkeye <laughs> a few times, and then all runs will come out, your hand will be loaded up, and you <laughs> look at that discount, great, Jared. The thematic uh, tie-in here. <laughs> the fuck is a foretold card? Exactly. Cosmic Raven. So seems like uh, some keen-eyed players can figure out who that uh, who that uh, is inspired by. Yeah, absolutely. And, and hey, check out this awesome showcase Viking frame. That's sick. That's fucking sick. That's fucking sick, dude. We really love how it's showing off. It's not fucking sick, dude. Yeah, I definitely love it. You all have ten sick. realms to display here, and it's cool what to see tank? two different kinds of art as well. Shout now, out to Small Tank. Little Raven that 
the sagas are coming back. How's the that stream, man? I'm really excited about. Yeah, they are coming back. They felt right at home here in Kaldheim with its epic legends, its Viking story. Fall Tank says, hey, and I also it's say, really hey. cool because some of the arts from the sagas are actually hand carved pieces of art. That's here, Odin. It looks like a, Odin. A look at one. This is binding the old gods. To a black and a Story target non land saga. permanent. As the saga enters and after your draw step, add a lore. Okay. Uh, can we just remove this non land part? That'd be great. That would be fucking great. Like, what the. It's four mana, might as well. Destroy target land. Destroy two target lands. Destroy the rest of all lands that opponent controls. Right? Lore counter. Sacrifice after three. One. Destroy target non land permanent and opponent controls. Two. Search your library for a forest card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Three. Creatures you control gain death touch until end of turn. Wow. It's multicolored, the first of its kind in the sagas. And look at this. I mean, I don't even know what to look at here. The awesome hand-carved wooden painting or the amazing effects that this has as a saga. No, yeah, for, for, you get to play with a gorgeous for magic card and be destroying I said Mond players. again. I don't that, know that's why. That's what I call a two-for-one. It's like a yeah. tongue twister. <laughs> that is exactly that. The forest well, card, and right? seems so perfectly thematic for Kaldheim. Is there anything else that we can spoil? Why isn't it yeah, forest or swamp? Kaldheim, I don't understand. back the snow mechanic. Woohoo, let it snow. <laughs> well, in that case, are we getting any new snow basics? We sure are. Let's check them out. Let's take a look at this new snow frame we're introducing. Every snow permanent from now on will use it. This is cool. So they don't, they don't call them like snow covered. Like it used to be snow covered mountain, snow covered island. Is that not the same thing anymore? Are those two completely different things? I have no idea. Well, it makes me feel like when I play the card, it's actually going to be literally cold. This is basic snow land. Cold, so that's amazing. Yeah, and um... Not snow covered land. I, I don't know what the here, snow covered uh, land. I'm supposed to make a bad snow pun about how cool these new cards are. Oh boy, okay. I, I, you know what, Mike? I think we get the drift. <laughs> oh, okay. So the snow covered lands do <laughs> also say basic snow land. No basic? Is there anything? Snow mechanic. Woohoo! Let it snow! <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, snow covered place. I was looking at I was looking at the type, not the actual name of the card. Shut up. It's Shut up. Shut up. So that's amazing. Yeah. Shut up. Um, it says here, uh, I'm supposed to make a bad snow pun about how cool these new cards are. Oh boy. Okay. I, I you know what, Mike? I think we get the drift. <laughs> uh, in addition to these <laughs> In addition to these snow basics, we also have some new snow duels to show you. And these are at common, and you get them in the land slot of a pack. Oh my gosh, snow duel lands, they look great, and like you said, they have that little frost. Did you know that self-harm is against the terms of service on Twitch? Did effect around them as well. Okay, is there anything else snow related that I should snow? Boy, that was a bad joke, Jimmy. Uh, are you sure you have the most recent version of the script? Oh. So why are we watching this video then? Yes, I do. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying real hard. We were doing with Kaldheim is for the first time <laughs> we'll be getting snow into. It's like a snow stress snow. test. <laughs> Let's take a look at Frostbite to show you what I mean. And we That's also pretty have tight. A promo version. Snow Instant. Frostbite deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control three or more snow permanents, it deals three damage instead. Wow, Interesting. That's, that's great. Wow, a snow instant. I never thought I would see that on a card. Okay, before we keep going, I think it's time to warm snow up. Snow duels are going to be clutch for budget like players. Feature or Were they, uh, I actually didn't uh, see. Sure you have the as well. Oh, they're commons? They're okay, commons. Is there, is there any gray and... They do enter the battlefield tap, though. Like, you know, but yeah, it's still good for the new mechanics. Kaldheim, is for the first time, you'll be getting snow instants and snow sorceries. Let's take a look at Frostbite to show you what I Icing mean. Bolt. And we also have this cool promo version. Snow instant. That's the best pun deals I've heard all day. Target creature and I've heard like 50 of them so far in this fucking video. Snow permanence, it deals three damage instead. 
Makes wow, me want to punch a baby wow, a snow in instant. video game. I never thought I would see that in video game. Card. Okay, before we keep going, I think it's time to warm up. And you know what that means, Mike. It's time for a heavy metal interlude. Let's go! It's not even a shock. They kind of spoke basics, yeah. It's just like the other basics that we have. It's just like the other basics that we have that come into play tapped and count as um, both. But it cycles for two, whatever they're called. I fucking love those lands. Alright, it's like one of the worst metal bands I've heard in a long time. Okay, I am sufficiently warmed up, and that means it's time for me to learn about. So what's with the band? The band would be great if it was uh, a comedy metal band, or if they were a better metal band. One of the two. But that's fine. It's besides the point. And can't be the best about it. <laughs> that sounds very fitting. Yeah, and it's so much fun in gameplay. Let's take a look at Varagoth. Bicycle lands, yes. Tire. Bicycle lands. In the black for a two, three, like that guy looks sick. Demon rogue. It's got death touch. It also has boast. Pay one in the black. Target player searches their library for a card, then shuffles their library and puts that card on top of it. Activate this ability only if this creature attacked this turn. And only once each turn. All you have to do to get wait, hold on. Only, only if this creature attack this turn, and only once each turn. All you have to do to get Varagoth to boast is attack with them. It's great because he's a two three with death touch, so you're gonna want boast. <laughs> creature attack this turn. Okay. Only once each turn. All you have to do to get Varagoth to boast is attack with them. It's great because it's he's a nice. two three with death touch, so you're gonna want to attack anyhow. It's kind of nice. But when you do. You can pay two mana and it's you nice. get to tutor for a card. Wow, or you can have another player tutor. And because it's a legend, we also have this really sweet showcase frame. This is as metal as it gets. Yeah, I totally love the showcase That's frame. That's fucking sweet. In Kaldheim, what the fuck? Who, whoever this frame. fucking Ian Miller guy is? Holy shit. It looks super stunning. I love that not work treatment. Yeah. Mono black, <laughs> mono black aggro. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a typical Viking. How do you get the showcase? No chance. fucking idea. All right, Mike. What is the other new mechanic in the set? Probably just Another within packs. It's like a different kind of mythic or different kind of rares, alternate art. I think there's like a showcase a slot within game. the pack. Let's take a look at Sorul's pack mate. Three and a green for a three-three creature wolf. When Seraph's pack mate enters the battlefield, draw a card. Foretell, one in a green. During your turn, you may pay two generic mana and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast it on a later turn for its foretell cost. A 3-3 creature for four mana that draws you a card? I already love it. Yeah. But even better, with foretell, you can exile it from your hand for two mana and on a later turn pay its foretell cost. So two mana on one turn and then one G. Later on, you foretold Cerule's pack mate. You get a 3-3, three, three, you get a card. It's as good as it gets. That's great. You know, as magic players, we're always looking to be as efficient with so the mana morph? as possible. So morph? I don't know what the morph mechanic is. And then it's coming true. And in this case, drawing you. He lives a 3-3 three, three yeah, for four that draws a card? Does he play this game? No, track. no, no he doesn't. We've included a foretell helper card that you can foretell your cards onto. Oh, very nice. So we just have... This guy's nuts, holy shit. God damn. Alright, cool. Let's have creatures as foretell cards? I thought Morph no, was three. Morph lets you spend two. Also. Put it That's onto a the battlefield fun, as a two-do. Oh, so it's different. It's quite different. Them. It's like you have a little secret that your opponent doesn't know about. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun to to foretell something and then have your opponent fall right into your prophecy. That's great. Okay, well, can we see... Four mana creature that draws card? one? That's yeah, insane. I know. Epiphany. 
five blue blue for a sorcery. Create it's like a much better Uro. Creature tokens with flying. Take an extra turn after this one. Exile Alrin's Epiphany. It also has. Yeah, he's been in the game forever. Four blue blue. During your turn, you may pay two generic mana and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast it on a later turn for its foretell cost. It's one of the five mythic rare foretell cards in Kaldheim. And once again, you set it aside for two mana, and on a later turn. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Four. Create two one one blue bird creature tokens of flying and take an extra turn after this one. Blue blue. During right. your turn, you may pay two generic mana and exile this card from your hand face down. <coughs> Cast it on a later turn for its foretell cost. What it's do you say? Five mythic rare foretell cards in Kaldheim. Oh, five and mythic again, foretell cards. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And on a later turn, pay six mana and you get two birds and taking an extra turn. Uh, that's a pretty darn good rate when it comes to extra turns and two birds in the sky. Wow, this is great. And this borderless version that I'm seeing here looks amazing as well. Being able to... How much flavor is going into Being this. able it's to so keep a seven mana card, card in your hand and, and foretell it, like, happens. not even keeping yeah, it in your totally. hand because they can't, that like, thought seize it. They can't duress it. They can't... Mythic. get it out if of your hand because you foretell it correct because you're exiling it out yep. of your hand well, they can't do anything collect as many of these as possible because the flavor as well as the art instant i love it jimmy i foresee you being a big fan of these cards wow you did that and i listened to it and now everybody has to suffer through it <laughs> all right thanks mike uh, really appreciate you walking through all of the new and returning mechanics in Kaldheim. You have to spend two I minutes to exile it. Flavor. Yeah, but... So, it's... It's one additional colorless to keep it safe, basically. Because it's five and two blue, or it's two colorless and then six mana to do it later. So it's... You keep it, you keep it away. Face down. Cast pretty darn good and they don't know what card it is, either. Two birds in the sky. Wait, is it only across two turns? It's just on a later turn. Yeah, they, they can't see it. It's face down. Yeah. Turn for its foretell. You set it aside for two mana, and on a later turn, pay six mana, and you get two birds and taking an extra. Can you counter the foretell? Um, you might be able to with something uh, like darn good um, rate when it comes to extra turns and two birds. Like what's it called? Wow, this is great. And this borderless version that I'm seeing here looks amazing as well. Holy shit. I love just how much flavor is going into this. Tails end, yes. Tails end. Card, you're foretelling a but and then bam, it would just nowhere. keep it in their hand, right? Yeah, totally. And I love that borderless version. There's five mythic foretell mythics. And each one features the borderless frame and flavor as well as the art. Instant. I love it. Cool. Jimmy, I foresee you being a big fan of these cards. Wow, you did that. And I listened to it, and now everybody has to suffer through it. <laughs> all right, thanks, Mike. Uh, really appreciate you walking through all of the new and returning mechanics in call time. I got to get back to it, but we'll see you around. Bye, Jimmy. See ya. It's a cast. Man, talk okay. about some cool mechanics. <laughs> Throw the axe, Jimmy. Throw the axe. Throw the axe. Axe. Yeah. Axe. Yeah. Axe. Yeah. Axe. On, axe. Right. <laughs> I'm not nervous and ready to do this. <laughs> Okay, boom, got the axe! Why are there a bunch of magic cards here? Are these my magic cards? It's a bullseye, Jimmy. Ah, oh. okay, yeah. Rob, oh man, why is this so heavy? Oh gosh, oh, it's actually sharp. Oh no. Okay, um, I'm definitely ready to, oh. Oh my gosh, God, someone's calling me? No way, how convenient. Oh, yeah. Thank right. goodness, hey, can, how you, convenient. can you hold this? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I think his pants are super tight. Eh. Oh, Matt Tabak called. Missed it. Ooh, but he did leave a voicemail. Gorgeous. Just gonna check this. Uh -huh. Sure right you are. Here. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, it's Matt Tabak calling. Uh, look, I guess you're busy. Um, I thought we were gonna do the call time booster fund thing for the video. Um, looks like you're not there. No problem. Uh, if, if you're tied up for the rest of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave all the information on the message here. All right, Jimmy, we've got some really fun stuff in store. Now, as you've already seen, 
the new showcase tree based on Viking sculptures, that artist metal is super posters. sick. Most of the legends in Kaldheim get to rock this. Super thing. sick. This is one of the coolest things we've ever done. Hey, how long is this gonna take? Shh, I'm on the phone. Yeah, as you know, we introduced Seth Boosters and Zendikar Rising, and they're back in Kaldheim along with collector boosters and draft boosters. Draft boosters are still the packs aimed at hmm. being the best way to draft and play. And every one of them includes a snow land. We've also done a bit of updating set boosters so they can show off all the cool elements specific to Kaldheim. And with each one, you have a possibility of opening up four rare and or mythic rares in each- This guy needs to shave his head and stop dyeing his hair. Booster with a maximum of three mythics. So, Jimmy, I'm telling you, you've got to check these out. These are the packs curated for a fantastic opening experience. So here is what you can get in a Kaldheim set booster. Ooh, he's talking about set boosters. He's talking about set boosters. Set boosters. He's talking about set boosters. Set boosters? Yo, what is he talking about? Set, set boosters. boosters! Up first, you're greeted with an art card unique to set boosters. Now, there are over eight no, that's not the discount. Off this beautiful Viking inspired hey, at least that part wasn't that bad. There's a possibility that your art card will be upgraded to a gold foil stamped version. Then you have a land card. Now for Kaldheim, this is going to be one of the snow basic lands or one of the cool <laughs> At least the band games. can act. <laughs> and there's a possibility that that is upgraded to a I feel like the band is the actors board. and he's just then, like for there. Else unique to yeah, see this guy. He needs to stop dyeing his hair and just shave his 15 head, right? What's the guy talking about? Set boosters. You have a mix of six commons and uncommons, and cards within their rarity are connected. Somehow. Is there no non-snow basics? I have no idea, right? There might be. And you'll get a different story with your uncommons. Next, let's talk about wild cards. These two slots exist to give us. He's fine. He just needs to shave his head. He just needs to stop and lying to himself. That's all. Anything. That's From it. Common, right He's fine, though. Rare or a mythic rare. In fact, they can even be part of your connected cards. This is for the people so that actually buy paper stuff. In these two slots. And then we have the guaranteed rare or mythic rare slot. Now, Ooh. I know what you're thinking. And yes, this slot can be the gorgeous metal Viking showcase treatment, or it can be a borderless card. And then we have the head turner slot. Head this turner. slot exists to show off some of the cool and unique things about any given set. Now for Kaldheim, it's I don't know what that be means. a snow common, a snow uncommon, a showcase uncommon, or one of the unique rares to theme, set, collector boosters, and some of the commander decks. Next up, we have a guaranteed foil. And it can be a rare or mythic rare, or even one of the showcase cards. Lastly, you get a token, add, or mini game card. Or mini game card. Or set boosters. There's you get mini a card games from the list. Or as I said, I want a mini time, game. The list. The list is a curated list of 300 cards from our history that we've chosen to show off the cool mechanics. We've slightly updated the list by switching out over 40 cards to set specific cards aimed to be thematic with metal color. rare. Here, let's take a look at three of those cards yeah. now. Cavern of Souls. Cold storage mm -hmm. and dark depths. Mm -hmm. Whew, that was a lot. The important thing to remember: set boosters are made to be tic tac toe. That would be super so, lame. Um, I guess that's it. Um, I hope the video shoot. Was like a well. real mini game. Yeah, really Cavern of Souls. I actually remember Cavern of Souls. Part of it that would have been fun. <laughs> Add card. Uh, it's, it's great. Have a great time. See ya. Whew, man, Matt Tabak. <laughs> that guy leaves some detailed voice messages. Let me tell you. Throw the axe, Jimmy. Right. Axe throwing. Yeah. 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 I can definitely do this. Okay. Well, you know what? If I am going to do this for you, for you, for you, and the internet, I may as well make it a little bit harder on Whoa. myself, you know? All right. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Whoa. Boom. Whoa. Blindfolded. Jimmy Wong. <laughs> YouTube video. This is great. This is it, right? Y'all ready for history to be made? Here we go. Ha, yes, I did it! Oh, I can't think of a better way to end this all. Thank you so much for watching. Look, this set called Time, it looks awesome. I feel awesome about it. I hope you do too. And we'll see you next time. 10 out of 10.
they doing Harry Potter? Is this Harry Potter? This is Harry Potter, right? I was like, why does this song sound all of a sudden much better than the rest of it? It's real fucking close. Harry Potter remix? No. It's filmed with extensive health precautions in place. Alright, cool. Nobody cares. Alright, well, that was officially cringe-tastic. Holy fuck. There was one more card. All right. Straight face, straight face. I know, it's not metal, just smile, bro. Yeah. Get the door knob, just fall. Yeah, just fall. Of course. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, since you've stuck around for so long, how about you just get to see one more card? Woo, one more. That's the best Jimmy's done this entire video. Ooh, it's the, oh, what is this card called? Uh, Phyrexian Facefucker. Yeah, Phyrexian Facefucker 5000. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's tight. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, that's, yeah, they had to make it family friendly, but it's Phyrexian Facefucker 5000. Yeah. 6-6 six, six, Trample, Haste for 6. Another ha another hasty mono green? What the fuck is going on? If you were to put one or more counters on permanent or player, put twice that many. If an opponent put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that many counters. Rounded down. Oof. 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 And yes, it works with planeswalkers like you'd want it to. That's super fucked. All right, yeah, that's the Phyrexian face fucker 5000. Yeah, we like it. Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there, too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.